Misha Fight Week at uh, at 185 pounds. Is it? Uh, are you thinking, man, I should have done this sooner, or are you thinking this sucks? No, I think it's a, it's the right time. You know, I uh, tried the waters at uh, 205. The highest I got was number eight as a ranking uh, fighter. So, uh, you know, the competition is uh, 205 is steep. You know, guys cut a lot of weight. And uh, I always knew down the road I can make 185 as well. Uh, it's just, you know, I want to see how far I can go at 205. And uh, now that I know I had 10 fights, I'm six. Six and four at uh, 205, so now I want to see how well I'm going to do it at 185. I think I have a brighter future at 185. A lot of people I train at 185, I did pretty good. So as long as I can do the exact same thing as I do in training in the cage, I think that uh, I'm going to have a better record at 185 than at 205. How much of a change has it been for you? I mean, are we talking like complete lifestyle adjustment, or has it been easier than that? Uh, it's... It's not like a dramatic change, but I had to do a lot more cardio. Uh, cardio is uh, kind of six times a week now, and uh, cleaner diet is very important. But I, I, because of it, I feel better. I'm a better athlete. It's kind of like, you know, you take uh, all the extra weight from the car. It's going to be faster. It's going to perform better in corners, braking, acceleration, and that's exactly how I feel. I feel I'm, you know, just because I'm fighting a different weight class, I actually feel I'm a better fighter because of it, you know. I'm still same reach, same height, and faster and a lot more conditioned. So I think that, you know, on Saturday I'll perform even better than a 205. Does it change your approach to the fight as far as, like, tactics and that sort of thing? You said you're going to have more speed, but we think, at least I personally think he was, like, a big, strong, powerful guy. I mean, does the game change now because of the weight class change? Uh, not really. I still have that card behind my back, you know. I, I still have the power, and uh, I know I'm a lot stronger than a bunch of 85ers, you know. So, And now I have a better speed, and I have great cardio. So I think that I think I'll, I'll be the best version of myself. I, I really think so. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited to fight, you know, guys that I'm actually going to be taller and better reach. Nice. Uh, what do you think about the matchup here? I mean, is this somebody that you – because when you're going to a new division, like, had you always been paying attention to the middleweight division, or did you have to, like, start scouting from, from scratch? Uh, no, I've been paying attention to 185, 205, and heavyweights all the time. Those are kind of, like, my favorite weight classes. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've, seen, uh, I've, seen, I've seen my opponent fight. And, uh, yeah, he's a very tough guy, just like all the guys in the UFC. And I'm very excited. I think we match up really good. Nice. And, and your goal here, obviously, you want to win. Um, but, I mean, do you, like, want to come in and do something, like, spectacular so people are like, I'm the new guy on the block. you got to pay attention to me. Or is it just kind of let's get in there and let's build our way up the ranks? Uh, it's kind of a little bit of both, exactly like what you said. Uh, just build up the ranks and do something spectacular at the same time. Uh, I would be happy to get a little bit of each. And, uh, yeah, just – <laughs> I'm just excited for the new weight class, and uh, yeah, I just can't wait to uh, can't wait to eat and can't wait to fight. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Last thing for me, um, what do you think we see different? I mean, do you, do you think there'll be like one thing that we can point to in the fight that like that this is the difference that was made because of this weight class change? I mean, I'm I'm still I still have I'm still that strong guy. Like, and if I catch one of the limbs, I'm gonna take it home 100 percent, and uh, and I. I still have my skill set, and I still, but now I'm just better conditioned, and I feel like I'm a lot faster. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to see how it all gonna kind of like blend in together. And uh, yeah, I just, I really, I can't wait to fight. I'm, I'm just, I've been, I've been training for so long, and I've been doing so much work. I just wanna like get in the cage like right now, you know. To your right, Misha. Thanks for taking the time. Um, it's interesting, you know, going to the middleweight, how long have you been having that thought process been in the back of your head, and what finally made you take the leap? You know, I, even before getting, before uh, getting signed to UFC, I thought fighting a 185, but uh, I've been having good success at 205, and I know there's a lot of guys I can beat at 205, at heavyweight, and the different weight, like fighting is fighting, you know, you, anything can happen. Um, 
however, fighting at the highest level in the world, fighting the, the best athletes, we see a slow change. We see better and better athletes come in into the game, and 205 is full of those, you know, athletes that are tall and lanky, and I want to use those attributes as well. So I knew that uh, slowly the day will come, and uh, after fighting guys like uh, Johnny Walker and... Um, you know, they're really tall, they're really lanky, they cut a lot of weight, and uh, so I just want to be one of those guys too. I want to have the skill set that I do, but also have the reach and all the other attributes to blend in with uh, my, my skill set as well. Sounds great. What did, out of curiosity, what did you walk around at when you were fighting light heavy? I walk around, uh, normally when I'm training, like I walk around like 215, yeah, the heaviest I ever kind of get when I'm a little bit kind of like out of shape, like 220. But 215 is, you know, where I always walk around and I just cut like, you know, I don't really, I didn't really cut the 205 much. The, for me, ideal would be the same day weigh-ins. If that was the case, I think I would do extremely well at 205 right now. Um, however, if we have like a whole bunch of time to recover and make the weight, I think at 185, I, I'm going to do really well. Excellent. And you mentioned Johnny Walker. You've trained with him in the past. Does that give you a little extra, I don't know, just a good vibe, good feeling that you have someone on the card that you know personally, you, know, you guys can cheer each other on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've been training. I actually ran to him uh, yesterday, and we're going to be cutting the last few pounds together as well. And, uh, yeah, he's a great guy, and uh, we kind of share similar kind of, like, ideas. And uh, he told me a few things, how he does things, like cutting weight, because he's cutting a lot of weight. So kind of helped me because I'm exactly on the same kind of protocol and same program that he is. And, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be uh, doing everything right. And I feel, I feel good right now. I feel really good. Sounds good. Well, what, can't wait to see the new version. And good luck on Saturday, sir. Thank you.